Marshville, North Carolina. Today we've got Bryce Patrick and Edgy doing our basic reintegration workout. Very first thing he's going to do is he's going to step off with his left foot in a target sound, enunciate heel, and we're going to pivot 90 degrees in the turn. Miss Edgy's going to continue moving no matter what. We're looking for two revolutions parallel left with her mom, dad, and four children. This is going to begin to teach us economy of motion. We saw the little tongue come out of her nose, out from under her nose, indicating a little submissive uh, posture to her. Did you used to like to pull on the leash? Now she's uh, pretty light. We're going to rotate the hand and reward the dog after two. And we're starting to mock up behaviors such as the front side signal and action in and around the dog, making sure she doesn't cross the toe line. We're we'll going to go into our second revolution. Good. Nice step off. Good. Same thing we'll do at home for 10 days. We've got a submissive tongue from Edgy, both on the leash and toward Mr. Bryce. Notice his right hand pivot. He's going to get on his right toe and he's going to swing his left. Good girl. He's going to focus on pack membership and establish a system of reward for our dog being in the right position. Everything's gonna build off of one and our pack membership. Again, a submissive tongue. Edgy's all sweet girl. Edgy, sit, good, good girl. Again, we're starting to mock up one and two for advanced work with an approach. Good. May I? And a pet. Good girl, Edgy. Our third and final on pack membership, two revolutions. Teaching a little pack membership. Look at you and the camera. Good girl. So we got a nice pace and plane. Dog's pretty determined. She knows what's going to happen. Because we've rinsed and repeated over and over. Excellent. We kept moving. Little Edgy got a correction or stiff to the ground. We're saying she wasn't paying attention. And then the loss of pace thereafter, she tightened her own collar because Mr. Bryce is a pro and keeps moving. Good girl. Edgy, sit. Good. Excellent. With the mock over on one. How y'all doing today? Good to see you. Good to see you. So we're going to get off of induction over time but the family needs to work her good with the right hand box seal so she gets acclimated to being by the left side. Let's move on. We're going to release her with all through and then shake of the lead. Let's invert the pattern. Right now, let's go ahead and heal. So we've got EG, we're moving forward again. Pretty simple. We're going to invert the pattern with the left turn. This is going to teach our puppy not to forge and it's going to subtly rank order our pack. Lots of praise turning the dog ideally with the body. We're going to add a little distraction on the seventh turn here. No fake shoe tie in the finish. The rotation. Reward. Atta Good girl. girl. We're going to work Good this girl. two more times for set value of three. Love his target sound. I love how he stepped off with the left. Make sure you tie. Keep the dog moving. He's actually splitting the dog as we begin to add distraction on the outside. Love the recital of the she just uh, figured out she was being watched with the old strings device Mr. Keith has. Excellent. Edgy. Sit. Beautiful. Good. I love how he moves two steps out of the turn at all times to finish the dog. Third and final. Again, we are beginning to add pace and plane and right corner of puppy. Got a great buffer position. Got any shyness or uh, aversions? This is how we overcome it with exercise yeah. one and two. Submissive lick to the leash and collar. Good girl. Good. 
left hand box seal. Rotate the board. We'll have the right toes in front. Excellent. So let's move on to our third exercise. Let's go from the top up here. Let's put her in a seated position. Let's start her with the pickup on the shoes. All right. So here we are with our third repetition value. The primary handler. We need a, a helper. We're going to send the dog away and then practice calling her back. This is going to help us with all of our greeting rituals, making sure she doesn't jump up on people, etc. She's frustrated. I think she just grabbed a rock. That's an action-specific chew. Thank you for not going in there. Excellent. Hey, baby girl. So that's Telltale. This dog is starting to get frustrated that we're not working fast enough. She needs to come off the cookie in about 72 hours and start to apply maybe some ball driving skills or use her nose. So we got the friend, we got tactile, we've got a little bit of induction, and now we're gonna plan on calling the dog away and moving the shoulder a little. And the cue. Leave it heel. Leave it heel. Good. See so what we're pulling her away from. A little shortcut. Good. Proper finish. Excellent. Let's rock and roll. Let's get her faster and faster. Itchy. Hey, baby girl. Go away, little bear. Love you, happy wag. She gets to kiss. A lot of times we'll say, hey, do you jump up? The dog says, absolutely not. We'll go brotherly or sisterly. Let her know there's no food there. I'm just touching. Good. And we're going to call her back. Edgy. Leave it heel. Excellent Good. rep. See how she's flopping her paws. She's talking to her handler, being submissive and sweet. Edgy freeze. Good. I saw that little false start. I'm going to wait her out this time. Maybe I could get her treat. Oh no, she's not jumping. What a sweet baby. We'll go underneath. Now over time, this dog should turn her butt and her nose should be toward the camera so as there's one eye on the handler. Just want to make everybody aware of that. She's very uh, treat driven right now. She's very sweet, very sweet. But we got to make sure that motivation's excellent. She's looking for Bryce's signal. Edgy, leave it, heel. That a girl. Nice. Girl. Nice. That's the way you do it, girl. Submissive falls. Keep swapping them a little bit. That's okay. Just want to make sure everybody's aware. I can pick up that skill set. Good job. May I? Yes. Good job. Good job. All right.
A is duality. We need to teach Stan Stay so is that the reach for the collar doesn't necessarily equal going inside. And then we need the skills of sending it all where we want it to go without having to touch it. Good girl. How's it going, girl? Excellent. She's happier when she knows where she should be. So what happens is, is that they actually, it softens all the hard edges of like where we have to go and touch. You, three, good girl. Yes. All right, so here we are. We have our fourth exercise, which is going to be a location state. What I'm doing is I'm basically uh, patting Angie in my area, and then I'm going to point and snap and send her to her location. She absolutely prefers, good, to be in my area. Good girl. That's my good girl. So she has fused, go over there, which is our point, snap, lay down, which is the back of our hand, and then a stay signal. And so what I'm going to do is every time that I rotate my shoulders, I'm going to give her a stay signal. This is going to help us when we need to uh, maybe feed ourselves, or have her accountable for where she's at so she's not roaming through the home maybe getting in trouble so we're going to release her with all through we always return to her and we're going to bring her right back to my spot i'm going to hold you and touch the dog i'm going to shake our leash a little bit to let her know not to, uh, to leave our control area and then i'm going to move into my second repetition so we're going to point and snap good girl she goes to her area she lays down. Now we're going to measure. There's a no. We're going to measure the area based on the shoulders. That was perfect, Edgy. And the vertical line that extends above and beyond. So you can see that she's cooperative. Then she kind of said, hey, I'd rather just go back and maybe jump on a and be by myself. I don't want to be bossed around right now. But we need to learn a location down state so as that we can separate ourselves and so as that we can evolve into a working dog that can readily accept being displaced from his handler. We're going to return to her. We're going to point and enunciate. Through. Good girl, Angie. Through. Good girl. I'm going to pet her up one more time. I know. She's got a little big girl concerns about the downstay. I know. Here we go. But it's necessary. Good. It's innate in nature. Good. And she readily works it. Good job. We'll give a signal. I'm going to rotate my body position into a comfortable position and then I'm going to give a backside signal. Now I notice that my dog's nose is turned away from the handler. It's not a very popular idea for one of the ways that I'm going to, um, over the next 72 hours, get a little bit more attention is to give a front side signal. I'm going to drop the cookie and I'm going to give a backside signal. So now we'll sell the object, object of attraction where the edible is between us. And then I'm going to begin to collect it on the way back. And then I'm going to point, enunciate, and reward. Edgy, author, good girl. And then I'll reward her. Good job on the backside. Okay, my baby.